Carousel of Connor Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to the Carousel of Connor. Today we are going to get takeout from Sanaa at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. And guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. Sanaa is known for their bread service. I actually personally think it's the best bread service on Disney property. So that is what we're going to order today. Ordering is actually very simple. You just go to the My Disney Experience app, go to the search option, and type in Sanaa. The second option you'll see is Sanaa to go. Select Sanaa to go, and then click on Order Food. From there, Disney will show you available time slots to choose from, pick the best time for you, and then place your order. After you place your order and purchase your food, a message will come up and say come back at your arrival window. When you do arrive at your location, you notify Disney and they will begin to prepare your order. And if you are wondering just how close Sanat is actually located to us, let's go find out. And that's how fast we can get to the Animal Kingdom Lodge. All right guys, we're at the Kadani Village in Animal Kingdom Lodge. There's the Jamba House and Kadani Village. We've actually never been to the Jamba House, but we have been to Kadani before for Sanaa. So now we might go look at some animals, kind of, you know, take some time, look around the resort uh, before our food's ready because we got here a little earlier because we kind of want to walk around and see more around the resort. So we're gonna go do that and then we'll go pick up our food. I've actually never been out to this part, but this is like kind of like a balcony. It's to the right of the lobby. And right away you can see some yeah. animals over there. And then right behind here is like a little like lounge in here. It's kind of cool. It's got like little seats and everything like that. It looks like maybe like a fireplace over there inside. I don't know if you guys yeah. can see it. But maybe we can go inside there and check it out. These chairs are like super cool too. The wood. And it'd be a nice little spot to just kind of sit out here. Look out. That's usually where we go down there, where all those people are. You can kind of see the animals up close to there, but right now we're kind of on the balcony, just looking around. There's some more animals over there. It looks like some wildebeest. They actually do have like a little like thing here you can spin out. I'm not gonna spin it because of COVID, but it has like little info on the different animals. Oh, there we go. My brother did with a sweatshirt. They have the East African Crown Crane. That's one right there on the pathway. Let's see if I can zoom in here. There he is. Put in the comments below if you guys have stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Let me know in the comments below if you've been here and if you have eaten at Sanaa. Because honestly, Sanaa is one of my favorite restaurants here and we always come back. So when I found out they were doing the takeout, that's like why I got like super excited about it because it is so good. All right, so now we're actually in that lounge area that I showed you guys before. We were right outside there. They got Perel Station over here and then they got a bunch of different chairs and stuff. And of course the six feet notice if you will over here i wonder if they used to have like a tv over here but now because you know with everything going on they got rid of that and then there's a nice little fireplace right in here which is a really cool spot we just came back out here again and there's a bird that's actually like a lot closer now doing his own thing and one thing i just want to show you guys too that's the doors to the entrance but just how cool this lobby is. Now I think Jamba House is a little bigger or maybe a lot bigger but it's pretty cool. A lot of cool sitting area. You can see some people sitting around and here's the gift shop up to the right when you walk in but very cool. And Sanaa is right down the stairs there but before we go there let's take a look at this tree. Wow we that's pretty awesome and let's get a little closer. It's kind of cool. It's got like a little hut and a little like Mickey on it and then got all different kinds of decorations on here. Very cool. He's like a little Mickey Mouse kind of. Pretty awesome. And here are the hours for Sanaa. They got quick casual breakfast, 7.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. The restaurant lunch is 11.30 to uh, 2 p.m. Dinner, 5 to 9 p.m. And then the lounge is open from 11.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night. So the gift shop here is Johari Treasures, and that's where we're going in right now. So right when you walk in, they got a bunch of Christmas stuff. They actually have 3% off headwear, apparel, tabletop, plush, and toys. Pretty neat. And there's a cool Christmas tree too. Here are some of the Animal Kingdom Lodge pins. I think we've seen this one before, but here's the Holiday 2020 Animal Kingdom one. And that's $18. So that's in the... 
character warehouse, that'll probably be cheap in maybe a couple months. The Proud Family. Here's another cool Lion King. Silver. The Proud Family. Oh, yeah. They have a couple Disney Channel ones. Yeah. Yeah. They have Lizzie McGuire, too. Then they have another Animal Kingdom Lodge in here. That's silver, so that's $9.99. And then Kilimanjaro Safari, some of the rides, Animal Kingdom, Everest, Cali River Rapids, another Everest over here. Yellow, that's $12.99, so these are all a little different. We did just see these, which are kind of cool. Old Disney Channel, Lizzie McGuire. That used to be like my jam back in the day, $9.99. The Proud Family. That was always a fun one. The grandmother was always really funny. The silver, that's $9.99. If you guys go all the way to the left, they have like a little station, which I don't think they're doing this now because of COVID and everything, but they have the drinks and you know tea and all that stuff. And then they have kind of cups over here that I guess maybe someone serves you if you want that. But over here, they have all like the you know medicine, Advil, things like that. Stuff you might need maybe in the parks. They got lip balm, all that kind of care. Nail clippers, and over here they got a bunch of good snacks. And over here they have some non-Disney stack. They got beef jerky, Tostitos, different things like that. Pop tarts, Edmonds donuts, a lot of different kinds of chips over here. A bunch of different stuff. Then to the left of that, they have all the kind of like, you know refrigerated items. They got like sausage. I guess if you maybe have like a kitchen in your room, you can do that kind of stuff. Pizzas, some alcohol beverages over here. I'm a big fan of Blue Moon. Blue Moon's delicious. They even have different kinds of wine, Moscato and Chardonnay. And these Seagram's things are actually really good too. I've had those before. These Animal Kingdom bottles and cups are really cool. This one's like all wood. Well, actually, I don't even know this one says Animal Kingdom Lodge on it. But this one does. That's pretty cool. Let's see. I think I might see a price tag over here. Yep, twenty-two ninety-nine. Which that's pretty cool. Expensive, but but cool. And they have these really cool mugs as well. Thirteen ninety-nine for the blue one. This one has like a giraffe for a handle. Nineteen ninety-nine. They have a bunch of Animal Kingdom merchandise over here. T-shirt for $29.99. Oh, and the HTO products they have over here too. My dad usually takes all these from the rooms when we stay here. And there's kind of the, the pricing range too for the full bottles. This is actually like really nice. It's kind of like a, a pullover Animal Kingdom Lodge. And this is $59.99. And then they have a, a Animal Kingdom Lodge, but the Jamba House, we're in Kadani. $29.99. Here's a really cool Animal Kingdom Lodge Spirit Jersey. Or maybe it's just Animal Kingdom. Mm. Medium. This is yeah. $69.99. And it's got cool Mickey in the front. But yeah, pretty pricey. I don't know if this is leopard or more like, like a snake print almost. It kind of looks like, especially with like the italic kind of here. But uh, pretty cool ears here. I think these are $29.99 it looks like. And then they got mini ears right here. There's some of the rose gold and silver over here too. But a lot of different cool shirts, sweatshirts. Another Jamba House t-shirt. I'm guessing this is gonna be like 29, oh no, 34.99. And another, uh, this one is a Jambo too, but it is short sleeve, uh, not short sleeve, um, tank top, 29.99. And this sweatshirt too, right here, is 39.99. And then this kind of polo shirt, is $44.99. So now we're actually gonna go sit on that balcony that we were originally on and just waste some time because we're out of the store and now we're just gonna wait until our order is ready uh, for snot at 550. We'll kind of notify them we're there and then they'll make it for us and then we'll be out of here. All right, now we're actually at the lower level where you can see a lot of the animals. So just to show you guys kind of a layout of it, we were just up there in that area. And now we're down here. See some giraffes over the way. Those are the same wildebeest we saw earlier. I can't imagine like having one of these rooms and just like having the access to this. Like I don't think I'd ever watch a TV. I feel like I'd be out on the balcony all the time. Maybe it's different once you have the room, you know. 
All right guys, so right here, as you guys can see, they're preparing an order. We just checked in, which I was talking about before. So you just check in and then now they're preparing the order. And last time we did this, it literally took like five minutes. So I'm kind of expecting it to, to be the same again, but we'll see. Uh, it is a Thursday night that we're getting this. So let's see how long it takes. It's like super nice out here too. There's not a lot of people. It's very cool out. It's just a, a cool place to kind of hang out and like exactly like right now, like we're wasting some time. This is a perfect time to, you know, just blow some time by and, you know, enjoy the views. I mean, you don't get much better views than this. And like most places on Disney property, they have for your safety, they have, you know, kind of a sign for maintaining social distance. And from out here too, you look over here, that's actually where those, you know, kind of the arching windows are. That's where Snot is if you are dining in. All right, so we just got the notification. Our order is ready, so now we're gonna go and pick it up. That's simple. All right, so they're great here at Sanaa. We just got here at the desk, and the gentleman was nice enough. Uh, he's going to get our food, and then uh, we're getting our utensils as well. All right, thank you. All right, guys, so there it is. We got our food, it was that easy. Again, like I said, it was right around that five minute range, like it was last time to get the bread service. Doesn't take much to get done, I guess. It's pretty, uh, I'm sure they have a lot of it like, fixed up already too, so uh, it's great. Quick service, it's not that expensive, and it's good food. All right guys, so the next time you see me, we'll be digging into this great food at home. And now we're back at the house, in the kitchen, and we're just setting this up here. And we're cutting some of the naan bread here, and then you have all the different kinds of sauces. Now I'm not sure exactly, usually they'll tell you like, they order from hot to spicy, I don't remember all of them. I know like one of these, I think this might be spicy. I saw there was like seeds in that one. I know like th this is kind of not that spicy, the green one. This isn't that spicy, this isn't. And I remember correctly, I think this green one's one of my favorites. In this, they have the traditional naan, and then they also have the garlic ginger naan, which is like the darker one. But it's kind of hard to see in here, but there's a darker one uh, towards the bottom. And they also have a spice naan. So I got this green one, this one's my favorite. This chutney one's also like pretty good. And I got two different kinds of bread, the spicier one, and I forget what kind this was, but I did say earlier in the video. All right guys, here it is, Sanaa at home, takeout. If you guys have had it at Sanaa, I think it tastes just as good. Maybe the bread might be a little bit more soggy, but really, I don't think you can tell that big a difference. The sauces are just as good. Two thumbs up for Sanaa takeout. As you guys can see, we're starting to blow through these sauces. We're already through our first thing of naan bread and then we got one more there and another one over there. So last time I checked, Sanaa was the only restaurant that is actually doing takeout right now. It's kind of started during this whole COVID-19 uh, pandemic. I'll link the article I read in the description below, but that's actually how I found out about this. We actually had done it one time already. It was actually like right when we first moved here, but now we've been here for a couple weeks and we decided let's get Sanaa again. All right, so that was delicious. <laughs> But one thing I do want to add is how quick it was. Now, I said it was five minutes. We actually did like a little before our window, so a couple minutes before, and it was ready, you know, it was like 5.55, which our time started at 5.50. It's 5.50 to a 6.20 window. So we had our food within the five minutes of the time frame. This was during the week, so on the weekends, maybe it'd be a little more. I know as far as like getting a time, we did it on a Sunday the one time. And that took a little longer, like for the time. Like we had to do it like two hours ahead, like two hours and like not ahead of time, but it was like two hours away, in, like when we did it. So this time it was like we could, we had our, our pick of the litter, really. I highly suggest takeout from Sanaa, whether you live here or staying here for vacation, whatever it may be. Why not do it? Like especially if you're like at the parks too or something like that in a long day, like you could do that. Maybe if you were, I mean, if you have your car, you could drive there and get it. But uh, I'm sure there's other ways around it. I mean, if you stay there, that would definitely be cool too to do. And it's also a great option if you're not comfortable with the whole like dining in places and things like that. Like my family still hasn't dined in anywhere yet. And this is like a good option for us because we can still get that experience. And also the thing about Sanaa is like we just got the bread service, but that whole menu is up for grabs. Like they, you know, their menu is on the takeout. So you can get some of your favorite dishes you know, at home. Going off of that, I wish that this is something that more Disney restaurants do. Now I know when the article that I'm putting in this on the bottom, I know that I talked about that this was kind of like the guinea pig, I think, to see, Disney was trying to see if maybe this could work with other restaurants. 
but they haven't made that move yet. So I don't know, maybe it's just like not doing well. I also don't know how many people like know about it. I feel like either with Sanaa because I feel like a lot, I haven't seen a lot of things on YouTube as far as like getting takeout from Sanaa, which is kind of why I, like, why I kind of want to do this video to kind of get that out there. Thanks for joining me for takeout tonight, guys, and we'll see you on the next go around.